committing to more regular vlogs. And I would like to go down the topic of work and go really, really deep with it because I'm realizing that this trip for me has been all about redefining work. I mean, we've named ourselves, where is my office now? Yeah, it's been about living in a van. Yeah, it's been about exploring and seeing America and like taking pictures and meeting people and community and all this stuff. But on a personal level, it's about redefining work. And there's so many different things I want to share with you about this topic. So I think just kind of chipping away at it when, when I'm, um, I guess, feeling inspired or even if, even if I'm not inspired, I maybe I'll post anyway. But chipping away at it bit by bit, vlog by vlog. So for this one, I would like to share with you how we've made money so far on the road. Um, I think feel like that's a good starting point. So we've been on the road for over three years and 90% of our income has been generated through freelance website development work. And that's been mostly me, um, right before we left new England, I entered into a contract with a communications company in Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, one of their clients, a university system um, needed a bunch of work. So I ended up being this kind of go-to person for content development and for website maintenance. And that ended up being about 15 to 30 hours a week. It was really, really good money. We made a lot of money. So for the people who have told us to, to settle down and get a job so we can make money, um, I just want to call them out and just say that they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> you can make a lot of money on the road. This uh, was a great contract. It ended in August. Um, it just expired. They hired somebody in-house. And um, I'll talk about this more in further vlogs, but I was really, really ready for it to end. Really ready. It was really difficult to uh, balance the work and the fun on the road and to just like, to get fast Wi-Fi, it was always, there was always something like Wi-Fi wasn't good or, um, you know, we had to get to a cafe or we had to drive somewhere to make a phone call, something like that. There's always something. And I ended up getting really stressed and feeling like crap. Um, so there's that, there's, there's that. And, uh, the other income that we've generated has come mostly from Corey. He worked as a mountain biking tour guide in Sedona, Arizona. He also worked at a bike shop and he worked on a TV show set about aliens. And there are definitely some stories within that, that maybe we'll share with you if you're interested, some crazy stories. Um, and then together we've both worked on an organic farm. So we've made it work. There's a ton of work out there. Um, but we're right now we're in this transitional phase of redefining what it work is for us. And, um, it's exciting. It's a little sometimes nerve wracking, but overall it's just amazing. Like I really truly feel that anything is possible and, um, we can redefine concepts. <laughs> we can. It's amazing that we can do this. We live in a world where we can do this. So that's a start. It's already four and a half minutes. Oh my gosh, there's not enough time. I think the next vlog um, might be about either my work background and history or the work history in America. Like where did the nine to five come from? Um, I'm not sure which yet, but it'll be one of those. So stay tuned and um, let me know what your feelings are about work. Are you happy in your work? Uh, what are you doing? Um, how often are you doing it? And have you redefined it before for yourself? I would love to hear. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Peace. <sighs> and I'll leave you now with what um, frolicking in the Go Westy parking lot looks like. Or pretending to be a five-year-old in the Go Westy parking lot. Hey, <laughs>